Hi there, everyone. Rob here with today's Western Pacific weather update. It is currently Monday, the 16th of April, 2012. And out here in Eastern Asia and the Western Pacific, there is actually two specific areas that we are continuing to watch. First is down here in the Philippines, just across northern Mindanao. You're seeing a lot of thunderstorm activity, dropping some very heavy rainfall at times here. And also off towards the north, another stationary boundary, just kind of sitting up here just south of Japan. Also, there is a low pressure here just across eastern Russia that's spawning off some rain showers and even snow here along the western portions of Honshu. But let's take our attention back down towards the south where, like I said, some pretty heavy rains have been occurring. Check out this 135 millimeters in just the past 24 hours there in northern Mindanao. Lost the southwestern coast there. You have up to 50 millimeters in a 24-hour period. So some very heavy rains continuing in the fall. Bagasa has actually put out an advisory for this specific area stating localized flooding is at a fairly high risk today and also the threat of some landslides, especially on some of the steeper elevations. So anybody watching from this area right in here definitely needs to take the proper precautions throughout the day today just in case some of those heavy rain showers do impact your area but meanwhile let's look elsewhere here just off of Singapore actually in Indonesia you saw about 68 millimeters of rainfall in the past 24 hours lots of convection blowing up down across this area it seems to be day to day due to mainly to sea breeze effect warm air coming off of the Gulf of Thailand and also the Strait of Malacca colliding here across the central Malaysian Peninsula bringing some very heavy rainfall so that's not too unusual there but off towards the north looking at this evening's forecast outlook actually being put out from JMA at 1512 Zulu through that stationary boundary setting up right there here in the South China Sea a little bit of fog just off of Hong Kong so you might see some creep in there especially into tomorrow into the morning hours but all in all not too active out here that low pressure system over the Sea of Japan high pressure will be ridging in behind it though early part of this week does look like fairly dry across the Korean Peninsula and much of Japan but see this little L stamped out here in the uh, southern portions of China let's look at the model outlook and if you look closely over into that area a low pressure system begins to develop the mid part of the coming week here and as it moves its way off towards the east it's going to be bringing some even more rainfall there to southeastern China last week you saw some very extensive rain showers up and down this area, actually up to 100 millimeters a day at times. Even in Hong Kong, you experience a few severe thunderstorms by the latter part of the week. Well, looks like by the latter part of this coming week, this boundary will continue to set up, develop, and push its way off towards the northeast, affecting Japan by next week and with a fairly strong storm. So something to continue to watch throughout that area there. But as far as the tropics, back down towards the south, Looks rather benign throughout the week. Some convection continues to blow up here across the southern portions of the Philippines, but nothing organized or too severe. But that is all for right now, everybody. Thanks again for watching here at westernpacificweather.com. Actually, I do have one other note that I want to put in here. We do have a forum set up now. It's at westernpacificforecast.com, but if you're in the website, it's very easy to navigate to. The top there has a chat box, and in the middle part of this, you do have the forum that continues to have new topics continuing to post up there. So lots of lively discussions already going on, and I encourage anybody watching this to uh, go ahead and join up. Looks like this typhoon season might be a busy one, and this could be one of the better places to get your weather. So thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day out there, everybody.